Hey guys, it is Candace Chantel, your favorite manifestation coach and manifestation YouTuber. And we are back with another video where I show you how to manifest exactly what you want into your life. No vibes, no frequencies, no rituals, just results. And we get our results fast. So in today's video, what we are talking about, I just want to do like a clarification video. Um, I've been, and the topic is, like you see in the title, what do I mean when I say there is action required to manifest? Okay, like uh, all the people throwing Neville Goddard's books at me right now telling me there's nothing required to manifest. Like, yes, you're right. That's why I'm clarifying myself here. Technically, let me start from the beginning. I have like a four-step framework that I say I use anytime I want to manifest anything. Really, I don't use it anymore. I used it when I first started because it just helped keep me straight, make sure I was, you know, doing everything I was supposed to be doing to get the fastest results. And one of the steps in that framework was T, take inspired action. I actually think there's a video on it, like the only manifesting blueprint you'll ever need. So if you're new to manifesting and want to know exactly how to get results quickly, go take a look at that video. But the last step that I talk about in that video, you know, I talk about affirming. I talk about showing up as a person who has your manifestation. And the last thing I talk about is taking inspired action, which is um, an LOA concept. Taking inspired action came directly from LOA. Law of Assumption believers say that there's nothing required for you to do to manifest. Your manifestations will literally chase you down. That is true as well. You are correct. There is nothing required for you to do to manifest. However, I think I put this everywhere in my business. I put it in my videos. I put it in like any free download I have. I put it on my website. Everywhere I say, this community is about manifesting faster. I don't want my stuff in months or weeks, definitely not years. I want my stuff in days. So I am using what I have found to manifest faster. Now, I do not use only law of assumption and I really don't use a lot of the teachings from LOA. However, the law itself, I have no problem with the law itself. It's a law. I can't do anything about it. So I do take that into consideration when I'm manifesting, right? So another law that people don't really talk about is the law of action. So although nothing is required for you to manifest and LOA teachers will tell you that taking action is required, it's not. Literally, there are examples of people who have just sat there, done their affirmations, done their affirmations and do nothing. As a matter of fact, I tell most of my clients to do nothing, especially when you're manifesting an SP. But for certain other things, taking action will magnetize your manifestation to you. I mean, exponentially, exponentially. So why wouldn't I tell you to do that? I'm all about getting what you want fast. So let me, let me, now that I've given you the backstory, let me tell you what I mean. When I say take inspired action or just take action, I'm kind of talking about two different things. Okay. So the first way that I tell my clients to take action is to actually show up as the person who has your manifestation. You can do this primarily in your mind, but also not in your mind, right? If you have aspirations to be um, like an Instagram sensation, you're not going to get up every morning and say, oh man, I have to do, let me research techniques on how to grow. How am I going to do this? I have to do all these things in order to grow. You're taking action as a person who is not popular on Instagram. And what you want to be doing is taking action as the person who already has your final outcome, which is popular on Instagram, you know, viral sensation, whatever. So when you're taking inspired action, I want you to show up as that person who already has what you want. If you were already popular on Instagram, you would get up in the morning and think, man, my followers are waiting for my photos. Let me get up and, and get cute and do my makeup and curate a look and take a photo or let me, um, oh, let me show them what I'm doing today. You, you see the difference in those two places where you're coming from? And when you come and take action as this person who already has what you want, by doing this, you are automatically putting yourself on the vibration, on the frequency that you need to be in order to get something. I don't talk about vibrations and frequencies in my teachings at all. But guess what? The law of vibration is still a law. I don't talk about it because people, like especially in LOA, they have gotten people so hung up and so caught up on trying to make sure they're in the right 
frequency and energy. Like it's all nonsense. All that you have to do is show up as if and take actions as if you are this person and you will automatically be putting yourself there. No thought, no thinking required, no special effort required. It's going to happen on autopilot. Okay. So what I tell people is that we are fulfilling all three laws when we take action from the person, from the embodiment of the person who has what we want, right? You're thinking thoughts as if you're that person. You're reprogramming your subconscious with, with um, assumptions. By doing actions as that person, you are automatically on that vibration, on that frequency. You're putting that energy out there that you already have what you want versus this person who's like desperate and lacking and scratching and clawing to get there. You see what I'm saying? Do you see why taking action just starts this snowball effect that just like rapidly and exponentially brings you your manifestation so much faster? You're welcome. So when I say take inspired action, this is what I mean. Now, additionally, as you're doing that, I told you there were two things. So the second part, as you're doing that, as you're showing up as this person, as you're embodying this person, person who already has what you want, you are also putting yourself in a position where you're thinking thoughts as this person. That is like, this is like a whole other concept I can explain in another video, but there's something called the Rykov effect where when you put yourself in that person's shoes, you are getting, you are downloading information that this person would do. So now you're getting new information that someone who didn't have what you wanted wouldn't even know to do. Now you're getting ideas that are going to grow your business like that. Now you're getting inspiration for posts that are going to go viral. You see what I'm saying? This doesn't particularly work um, with SPs. Taking action does not work with SPs. So I'm only talking about other things like money, business, um, education, things like health, things like that. Um, even with health, taking inspired action could be, you know, starting a new workout program. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying when you're thinking, when you're embodying the spirit of what you want, that might come into your mind like, hmm, maybe I should take a walk today. Maybe I should park farther in the back of the parking lot and just walk a little farther and you will start getting ideas to do things that may lead to your manifestation. All right. That's what I mean. That you don't have to do anything. Nothing is required. I'm just telling you a way to help make it come faster. Now, like I was saying, it doesn't work with SPs because typically... Any type of action that you're doing um, with SP, like to get their attention or to get them to reply to you to a message or to call you, anytime you take action, a lot of times that that is only going to come off as trying to force things and trying to make things happen. Um, you know, that like, oh, please, please respond to me, interact with me, give me what I want. So I do not, do not ever recommend any clients try to take any action when they're working with SPs. However, for anything else, if you can find a way to embody the spirit of the person, not even the person, embody the spirit of the version of you in the future who already has what you want because they're there. They're already out there. The fact that you have a desire, the thought comes into your mind that you want something means there's another reality of you out there that already has it. Okay, so all you're doing is embodying that version of you in order to more rapidly bring it into your reality now. I hope that made sense. I can already tell you I'm probably gonna have to do another video on this in the future. Um, but for now, that's all I wanted to say. Take inspired action by showing up as the person who already has what you want and not the person right now who does not watch how much faster things happen i know i'm constantly harping on faster 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 but that's what i'm all about you can literally manifest at the speed of thought okay like it's possible so i hope you guys learned something today if you have any questions please let me know as you know i'm also a manifestation coach the email list is the email client list is filling up faster than I anticipated. So we'll be releasing, um, or the link will change to probably a wait list soon. But for now, it is still open and I will see you guys next time.